I'm going to show you the wonderful world of soju in South Korea. I'm in Lotte Mart, which is a pretty common supermarket chain here in Korea. And let me tell you, even I wasn't ready for what I was about to see. Starting with the cheapest ones, Jinro, which costs literally a dollar. Jinro Gold, the red cap generally means it has a higher ABV. Then we have Chamisu Fresh and Chamisu Original. Jinro, but in larger plastic bottles. Chamisu Fresh, but in larger plastic bottles. This soju is just called White. I've never heard of this one before. Siwon, which is from Busan. Seto, which is probably the most popular soju at the moment, but my least favorite. Chom Chom made with mineral water and then even bigger bottles of all the aforementioned sojus. We have 30% ABV soju for infusing. Tropical fruit flavored sparkling soju, grape flavored soju, and even hip flask sized soju and soju in a carton for the child at heart. Then moving along, we have the more expensive sojus. These are generally made with actual rice. We have Huayo, Ilpum Andong Soju, Ilpum Jinru Soju, Soju Yoyu, Ido Soju, Toki Soju, which is a personal favorite, soju made with sweet potatoes, and then finally, the one that caught my eye, soju aged in oak barrels for 10 years. And that's literally only in this store. There's still a ton of sojus in Korea that even a lot of Koreans have never heard of. I haven't seen this before, but this supermarket also had trolleys set out so you could return empty soju bowls. 